गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो अगेन वी टूगेदर विल डिस्कस विथ अनदर टॉपिक ऑफ माइग्रेशन एंड टूडे इज ट्वेंटी एथ नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एंड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एम ए सेमेस्टर थर्ड ऑप्टेड द स्पेशलाइज पेपर ऑफ पॉपुलेशन स्टडीज इन द सेकेंड पेपर टूडे आई विल डील विथ दी हैरिस टूडेरो मॉडल ऑफ माइग्रेशन एंड स्टूडेंट्स अर्लियर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द टू अदर लॉज और थ्योरी ऑफ माइग्रेशन वन वॉज पुल एंड पुश फैक्टर्स रिलेटेड लीज मॉडल एंड सेकेंड वॉज डिस्टेंस डीके एंड स्टेप वाइज मॉडल बाय रेविस्टिन एंड टूडे थर्ड मॉडल इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट which is very much relevant in the covid era because in the country like india this harris todaro model of migration based on the rural urban migration theory is seen and experienced the problems of the labor of and problems of the migrants in urban areas so students let's start with the concept of harris todaro model by focusing on rural urban migration so we all know and you must learn that urban sector has formal and informal sectors urban sectors have both formal and informal sectors and higher urban formal sectors wages induced migration before dealing with the model this is the facts for your learning and again higher and inflexible salaries because of unionization subject to minimum laws pension schemes and forms like to pay above average pay for quality workers in order to extract best productivity by making the threat to fire a valid threat and lastly and importantly informal urban and rural sectors have lower wages later higher than former so this is how Harris Todaro model of migration works and based on rural urban migration so student what harris todaro model says it says that if wages were perfectly flexible and equal wages would be paid in industry and agriculture and there would be no involuntary unemployment so the model begins with certain hypotheses the first one is that migration is an individual rational decision nobody is there to forcefully push or forcefully pull but that is a individual rational decision this is the hypothesis of harris todaro model second migration proceeds in response to urban rural differences in expected income rather than actual earnings this is very much important people move from rural to urban area for certain expected earnings but actually they have got another type of earnings maybe less than that expected so this is another hypothesis and third is compare of expected incomes for a given time horizon in the urban sectors that is return minus cost of migrations with prevailing average rural incomes in a context of urban job lottery students when migrants from rural areas get as they were expected in urban area then that may be urban job lottery but actually that not happens that you have to research during this covid era so how you will explain you could explain by this graph only you can see you make this box type of graph two y axis and one x axis 
in one y axis there is a urban formal wage in another y axis there is a agriculture wage and in x axis there is a movement of labor so you can see this this is a urban wage line and this is a rural wage line agriculture wage line and actually urban wage is w bar which which is expected by the rural one and in rural society the wage rate is wa so naturally w w bar is more than wa through this attraction movement from agriculture to urban sectors takes place due to this wage differences so dear students the graph says that yl f work workers find employment in good jobs in cities and yl a remain behind in the countryside working at a lower wage of wa those who migrate from the countryside to the city find themselves employed in the urban informal sector yl1 so the how does the urban labor work this harris todoro migration model says with this diagram and if you explain this diagram further then you can explain by this you can see this is agriculture wage rate this is a manufacturing wage rate manufacturing wage rate is w bar m greater than uh, w a which is agriculture wage rate and actually people moves here to here with for this wage but actually they equilibrate with the e e point this is equilibrium labor and finally maximum labor gets only this w a star which is less than even w a less than their agriculture wage and more less than expected that is w bar m so with this uh, theory exploitation of labor takes place in the urban areas and maximization of profits in the manufacturing sector in the urban areas took place so this is how the country like india have to be cautious because there is a enormous population pressure in the agriculture area and from agriculture to urban uh, area migration took place for the better wage rate but actually they are not getting the better wage rate and the reverse migration type of situation as we have seen in the covid era take place very easily so this is this is the problem which you have to solve with this formula here we can say this equilibrium is elf divided by elf plus l1 w bar plus l1 by elf plus l1 w1 is equal to wa whereas w bar is the formal wage uh, sector wage rate w1 is the informal sector wage rate and w is the agricultural wage rate and this formula says that informal sector is an outgrowth of the fact that the formal sector has wages that are too high so that not everyone is capable of obtaining employment in this sector at the same time not everyone else can stay in their culture as well for that would make the formal sector look too attractive and they induce a great deal of migration informal sector is a result of this migration isliye vidyarthiyo agar isko mote mote taur par kahe to bharat jaise desh mein jahan jansankhya ka dabav jyada hai agriculture par wahan se गांव में ये सोचकर कि हमको ज्यादा वेतन और ज्यादा मजदूरी मिलेगी लोग माइग्रेंट होते हैं लेकिन एक्चुअली चूंकि ज्यादा लेबर के पहुंचने से जो पहले शहरों में वेज होता था तो ज्यादा लेबर के पहुंचने से लेबर की संख्या बढ़ती है और इसकी वजह से जो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर हैं जो अर्बन सेक्टर है उनको लेबर का एक्सप्लोइटेशन करने का मौका मिलता है डिमांड और सप्लाई के नियम से और वे बार्गेनिंग करते हैं वेज का और अल्टीमेटली वेज जो होता है ग्रामीण वेज से भी कम और जो पहले शहरों में वेज मिलता था उससे बहुत कम मिलता है जिससे कि जिससे कि संतुष्ट होकर लोग वहां जीवन यापन करने के लिए मजबूर होते हैं और कोविड के इस दौर में इसी मजबूरी के बाद आपने देखा होगा कि चूंकि प्रोटेक्शन नहीं था क्योंकि सोशल सिक्योरिटी नहीं था इसलिए मैक्सिमम रिवर्स माइग्रेशन हुआ ये एक समस्या है जिसको कि आपको एड्रेस करना होगा एंड दैट्स व्हाई व्हाई शुड पॉलिसी ट्राई टू गेट राइट ऑफ इंफॉर्मल सेक्टर दिस इज अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड स्टूडेंट मैक्सिमाइज नेशनल इनकम थ्रू बेस्ट रिसोर्स एलोकेशन इज दी आंसर सो एज्यूमिंग डिमांड कॉप रिफ्लेक्ट मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट 
if equilibrium is not at intersection of the curves there is a possibility to increase national income through better allocation so if you have to go for better allocation you have to provide better job to the rural migrants you have to uh, 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 formalize the job of the rural migrants and then only the resource allocation will be optimum resource allocation will be optimum then national income will increase and hence students there are two ways to remove this informal sector first government may restrict the migration which could not take place in the country like india where the democratic pattern society prevails and second is a wage subsidy which is in the hand of government and in during this covid era government should provide wage subsidy to the small and medium enterprises then only they could provide wage or salaries to their employees so this is how we can explain this theory in this covid era and this is a part of syllabus and through this again i will send you the slide and earlier i told you online about the migration restrictions and wage subsidy then this is the way and we experienced in the covid era that government now is forced to move for one nation one wage one nation one ration card aatmanirbhar bharat type of programs because the issue of migration prevails in covid era and that opens the eyes of government then they have to restrict the migration very positively and that's why government of uttar pradesh started brain mapping in our in our state and they started skilling their uh, uh, laborers so that laborers my state stay here positively and get job in the state like uttar pradesh so this is the only positive way to restrict the migration not forcefully because in democratic pattern of society we can't restrict migration uh, and we can't restrict any person move moving from a place to b place so thank you and take care